Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World and of course I am Deb Chanel. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers, my old subscribers and the ones that are sitting on the fence thinking that they want to come over. So I'm like, come on over honey. Gentlemen, what are you waiting on? We just get started, okay? <laughs> Welcome home, okay? Stop on over. See what we're doing. See what we're talking about. See what we are digesting far as partaking in some of the trending social media topics that are flowing freshly out there today. Okay, we're going to get into blackamericaweb.com. Yes, I hadn't been on their site in a while. So I'm just here to tell you, they're giving out some news. And I'm kind of confused with this news myself because what I'm seeing on TV, what I'm hearing out there in those streets are not adding up. At least Kenya Moore is not adding the situation up for us. I don't know where we are. And I'm sure I'm not the only one lost in the fall, lost in the sauce and all that good stuff. Hopefully she would kind of chime in and bring us up to speed because right now I'm looking at her like, girl, for all that you are and all that you are going to be, what is going on with Mark? Can you come clean with us finally? Because Mark is really not paying you no mind when it comes to you being first on his uh, radar as far as getting attention. And he definitely, definitely has sided with your arch nemesis in giving her props. That's Nene Leakes, okay? I kind of like that gold on her, that blonde wig, that particular one. Okay, the other ones, I, I, they're questionable. But yes, I am getting this article from blackamerica.web. And uh, let me see who wrote this. It was written by, well, really, it's coming from Kiara Kelly from MadameNewYork.com. So I guess Black American Web is are, are borrowing, or is borrowing that um, particular blogging site's information. Okay, so we want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, we're gonna say Black America dot well Black America Web dot com is borrowing information from Madame Madame Minior. Um Commentary for commentary for entertainment, exciting news. Okay, that they're giving out. So okay, they're giving credit. We're giving credit. So everybody's uh, on the same board. But actually, they have a nice looking picture of Kenya Moore and her husband in happier times. Um, and the whole article is surrounding around Kenya Moore saying all these nasty things about her soon to be ex husband. Or what she likes us to think will be soon to be X. But what will be coming up hopefully on tomorrow's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta is this particular scene where the cast are sitting at some restaurant eating and whatnot and they're getting to know each other. And um, somehow they get on a conversation about Nene Leakes and how Nene Leakes had been, you know, treating her and saying negative and saying negative things while she was pregnant. And she's trying to make Mark remember those awful things that Nene had said about her when she was pregnant, about being big as a buffalo or she's having a buffalo or whatnot. Um, so I'm kind of confused taking with you anyway. So you can have some company. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's just a uh, show. Yes, it will. Go take them with you. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, that story is um, basically... She's in here bothering me, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, my daughter's bothering me. Go on and take her with you. I don't like you out there by yourself anyway. No, he gonna want to come. Just come get him. But you just wait till I finish tape and I bring him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about that, guys. But going back into this article from um, both entities, Madame Men wait a minute, Madame Minior or something like that, as well as Black America Well, they're both hitting the story together. Okay. And... What's her name? Kiara Kelly is the um, author of this particular article. But it goes in to say, Mark Daly defends Nene Leakes and her beef against Kenya Moore. Now, you tell me, people. You tell me. Any real marriage that you know of or you are a part of, wouldn't it be 
that your husband would take up for you and you would take up for your husband in any, sense, in any type of sense, whether y'all getting alone at the house or not. Uh, would you not be uh, taking up for your spouse in the other way around? Well, why in the world is Ma taking up for Nene Leakes? I don't understand. That, that's, that, that goes beyond understanding, okay? So if anybody that's a Kenya lover, a Kenya fanatic, a Kenya viewer that's like down hard, please get in them comments and tell me what do they think about Mark defending Nene and he's thinking Nene is a very nice person regardless of whether he talked about his child, unborn child at the time because she definitely didn't say anything with the baby you know being born she i haven't heard anything or seen anything in social media that she's uh taking digs at a baby no i think she was really taking digs at kenya moore she wasn't taking digs at the baby that kenya moore was um you know um holding in her stomach or developing in her stomach so i, I really don't know why kenya wants to put that out there she really was putting picking fun stop picking fun at um Nene Lee's and Nene Lee's was picking fun at her. So let's just keep it real. All right. Let's not put that bad karma on Nene. All right. So we're not going to do that. But anyway, the article goes on into reading on every episode of, episode of the new season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Another layer of dysfunction. Dysfunction is revealed between Kenya Moore and her husband, Mark Daly. And I'm, I'm definitely trying to figure it out myself. I'm not even going to lie because I'm like... That's just unheard of, you know. That's just like somebody going to take up for your arch enemy and they're going to pay you dust. And a person that's going around and talking about you are foul and fake and fraudulent and whatever. My husband going to take up for them and not me? Something wrong with that picture, y'all. Y'all tell me. Am I looking at it wrong? Is Kenya looking at it wrong? Who's wrong here? Who's right? Who's wrong? Because somebody definitely is out their minds, all right? But anyway, it goes on to say the two were wed in a whirlwind romance back in 2017, and the two welcomed an adorable daughter, Brooklyn Daly, in November of 2018. Even though the couple seemed to have their uh, makings of uh, hashtag black love goes as their story unfolds it's clear that this couple has a long way to go before they can bet on a happily ever after in a sneak peek for this sunday's episode we see daily defends kenya's arch nemesis nene leaks in front of candy todd cynthia and mike Yes, that's right. And the women were there along with their men. Okay, and their men were there, were there along with their women. But I saw a little clip of it, and I'm going to tell you, Candy should have just hushed her mouth. They didn't even need to be putting no uh, facial expressions to, you know, plugging in or chiming in on whatever Mark was saying. Now, I don't know if she actually said anything because she said it in her confessionals we saw, which in her confessionals she should have said, ooh, there's trouble brewing over there in a daily more residence, but I ain't got nothing to say. I'm going to sit back and then watch it all unfold. That's what she should have said, but she don't switch it, switched her mouth around, let the words come out that Mark should have stand down. He should not have been upping and, 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 and putting Nene on a pedestal when Nene was, you know, dogging out his wife. So I'm like, can it keep your mouth shut now, baby? Because people can come after you about Todd sitting up there in a hotel running from Atlanta paparazzi because they caught him in the act, or they thought they caught him in the act of being in a situation where he was unfaithful to you, okay? Because he sprinted like he was on a track field running for his life, all right? So, I think you just need to listen, pay attention, get all the tea you can, and talk with Todd at home about it, okay? Or if you want to talk off the camera about it with the other cast members, that's cool, too. But don't go throwing uh, salt at somebody's doorstep or on them when you don't really know what's going on. You don't know what's happening around that them doors because can you tell you one thing and another thing will be happening, okay? Because we're all on the side of wanting Kenya to be in a marriage that's fruitful, prosperous, and it's going to have her have a long time of joy and happiness. But when you sit up there arguing 
And if you want to be the first when it comes to that man and his child, what's that's a telltale sign about something's not right upstairs, can you, with you, okay? Don't be in no, uh, who's going to be getting daddy's attention, okay, prior to who really is going to get his attention because he's going to let him know. And it seems like it's baby Brooklyn and not you, Kenya. So it's a weird situation you don't got yourself into. So we're just trying to watch it unfold, but it still keep getting like Pandora's box. It's just unveiling, unveiling, and unveiling. But that's my sidebar, not in this article. Let's go back to the article. It said at the table, Mark says to the group, I care about my family. People say Nene, blah, blah, blah. Nene was nice to me the first time I met all of you. So what you saying, Ma, wasn't nobody else nice to you? They were getting into your business, but they weren't being nice to you. All righty then, because I'm trying to figure out when he did make his appearance, when he came to Kenya Moore's event or something, and he showed it at the last moment, was Nene now y'all? Because I don't remember. I remember the other people being around, but I don't remember. I mean, Cynthia was there. Candy was there. I want to say Sheree was there because she was picking at his nose ring or somebody was giving the question, you know, was he gay or not? You know what I'm saying? He was kind of giving us that tease, but that's neither here nor there at this point. But uh, I don't remember Nene being at that function at the time. So I'm just really trying to figure out when did he and Nene meet and when did him and Nene f- uh, forge a friendship? Okay? Because on the back burner, way, 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 if I may take y'all on the way back. I did a, a video, I forgot what the video was titled, but Nene was supposed to have been setting Mark up on a blind date in New York City. So, uh, I don't know what that is all about either. So many questions, so little answers. And I know, okay, you can go and tell us the real TT for Mark. Get out there and tell us the total T. You get what I'm saying, baby? Because it seems like he want to sprout some new wings on this story. Y'all try to get us to understand that y'all are married. He's giving us another takey take on the situation. When, when you get my hint, and it ain't going to look good for you, girl, if you coming out lying like this. And he go on to say, oh, it was a setup. I just went on and gave her my sperm because I wanted a baby too. But the marriage, fake, fraudulent, and full of fuckery. That, that's what I'm waiting for him to say, girl. That's what I am waiting for him to say. But anyway, we're going to move back to the article. That's my side point, my opinions, and my perspectives, okay? Love them, like it, or leave it alone. It don't really matter because they're my opinions, okay? But getting back to the article, it says, um, Kenya seems taken aback by Mark's Remark saying, I have to remind Mark, when you found out that Nene said, what am I carrying, a buffalo or something? You got very offended by that. Okay, and again, like I said, can you, uh, sticks and stones, baby, sticks and stones. If you know you wouldn't carry no buffalo or whatever, why even entertain that foolishness? Okay, that was just bad taste and a bad response Nene put out her mouth. And that's what you should have chalked it out to. You don't have to go and tell Mark or get so upset about it. Get back with her like you always do. But you paid her dust at the whole Sigrams party. So I gave you a straight 10 on that girl. Act like she ain't even there. Give her silence. And you did it. But now you're going back. Acting like you were hurt about the situation. Girl, that ain't OG material. We don't hurt. Mm-mm. When people hurt us, we go for the juggler and we keep it moving. And you had a juggler move. You said nothing to her. You you talked to people all around her. You made like she wasn't there, like she would cast for the ghost, okay? And everybody loved you for that. You showed true OGism, okay? But now this little net net pity whack pat party pity party you have it ah took your card too took your card but anyway going back to the article itself it said um mark doubled down on the nini defense train saying it was an inappropriate response or comment but didn't she reach out to you out there and try to apologize and can you fire back no she actually didn't okay kind of trying to get indignant with her husband now is that something we should be doing in the likes of the public eye and taping for filming purposes, can you? Mm, girl, I don't know, honey. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, but that didn't stop Mark from having Nene's back. 
over his own wife. Okay, now y'all tell me again. I'm going to come to y'all because I'm lackluster here. I'm not understanding this whole train of thought, this logic, this reasoning going on. How in the heck is Mark Daly taking up for Nene Leakes? His wife, Arch Nemesis, the one she's trying to replace as head HBIC. What is going on? I ask you people, tell me what's going on between these two and Mark. Okay? Is Mark trying to slide up in um, Nene Leakes' DMs? Wink, wink. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Is is she going with Mark behind Kenya's back? You know, because it was allegedly that... They were thinking about having an over marriage child. Was Mark, Mark want to be one of um, Nene's play toys? Okay, for hire. <laughs> Honey, whatever stays in Atlanta and done in Atlanta, don't go nowhere else. Keep it a secret, okay? Keep it a secret. But going back to the article, it says, um, I don't have a problem with the woman. He's referring to Nene. The woman was very nice to me. He's still holding on to that ad. She's still holding on to that play. But we're going to see where it gets us. Okay, we're going to see. Hopefully, it'll un- unravel, unveil itself. Then it goes on to say, interesting revelations for Mark to have, considering that Nene being nice to him does not invalidate Kenya's feelings about how Nene treats her. Candy was shocked that Mark continued to defend Nene, saying in the testimony, meaning her confessionals, why are you going on with this? Like, you're supposed to have your wife's back, not Nene's back. Like, you're doing too much. And I'm like, no, nah, Candy, you're doing too much. Stay out of it because you don't want nobody analyzing, assessing your marriage or your situation with Todd and not being uh, a good father as he should be when it comes to his baby girl, Kayla. And we already know Riley and him still ain't getting along. Riley said, I got a daddy, and I'm trying to deal with him. And Todd's not my daddy, so Todd should be speaking on my life, period. You got that, Mom? Okay, don't want to have this conversation session with you or Todd again okay or I'm going to grandmama mama Joyce and then we're going to hash it out the real way all right so um that was pretty much for the article but I'm see if I can get a little play play back of audio that uh was put out in this commentary as well of what's coming up hopefully tomorrow on um Real Housewives of Atlanta for Sunday the 22nd let me see if I can play a little bit Okay, hopefully y'all were uh, able to um, hear that response that Mark made, okay? And a lot of people in the uh, comment section are dogging Mark out. One of them even said, I agree with Mark. Kenya makes enemies with everyone. She can't make Mark have a problem with Nene because Kenya is. Kenya is petty and Kenya takes care of her husband. So, of course, he's going to agree with her. Bye. Then another person said, wow, my respect level for Mark just hit rock bottom. Let's hope his daughter does not use him as an example of the men she picks. Regardless of his personal experiences with uh, Nene Iron, and regardless of any problems he and Kenya may be having, there is no excuse for a real man to disrespect his wife like this. Unfortunately, he is teaching his daughter that it is okay to be with men that will publicly disrespect her. Kenya deserves better and so does her daughter. So, like I said, I you know, hmm, I don't even know why she's even talking favorable of Mark if you know he really does do this to her like in like we've just seen in public or you all will see tomorrow when it airs, and just other past things she has said that you know Mark has done to her verbally behind closed doors. I mean, uh, verbal uh, verbal abuse as well as um. 
physical abuse, there's no room for it. And Kenya, you know, you were a sports person. You did a PSA on it. So I'm like, I'm kind of confused. Why? I mean, are you doing this as a publicity stunt? Are you just making up this whole storyline for season 12 um, just to get you more solidified back with um, Real Housewives of Atlanta and getting a better paycheck for next season, which is 13? I mean, let us know, honey, because... It doesn't make sense for you to even play a role like this. I mean, if you and Mark are really good, y'all really have, you know, a good firm foundation and you're just doing it for TV, then you just say you're acting. You know, you're just giving us a little here and there, but it's not true. It's really fictitious. We're good. Or, you know, come out. Is this really how Mark is acting towards you? This is really what you want to stay in? You know, a lot of people saying, you know, you should fight for a marriage and da-da-da-da. You really want to fight for this? This type of demeanor, this way this man is treating you? You still want to talk lovingly about him when he's showing us a totally different side of him? Of what you're saying uh, of him when he's not being aired? But... <laughs> I mean, the two just don't match. So y'all get on in them comments and tell me what y'all think. Are y'all just as confused as I am? Uh, trying to give it, trying to give Kenya the benefit of the doubt that it is a true marriage, but it just seems like every time we see Mark or we hear about her talking about Mark, things just don't add up to a true marriage, a true relationship that's building there. But that y'all know my spiel on it because i ain't made no uh lightness to it i already told you how i felt about the whole contractual agreement and you know mark just ending it out with a big fat bang so hopefully he don't never have to really see uh kenya and be taping with her and this that and third i mean he's always going to see her because they have a child together but honey baby mark don't want you baby mark don't want you if that's what we're really seeing out here he don't want it he don't want it because you know he might could want you back if you left bravo tv entertainment or just the whole entertainment industry where you got to be focused on you know playing a platform i'm coming uh, you have to play him on this platform that he don't want to be a part of. Whether he really want to be in it or he don't want to be in it, it's kind of irrelevant at this point because he's showing us he ain't got time for being covered on TV. Not his cup, not his spill, and either you're going to be with him or you're not, or he's going to continue to drag you and be negative and, and, and what do you call it, nonchalant about your feelings and not taking them personal. And he, he can see like he can handle it. He can handle your haters. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming for him just he is what it is he gonna accept certain things and he's not gonna accept certain things and that's just the way it is all right but y'all get out in them comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about this little piece i put out on behalf of the information resources i got it from honey is Ma showing us the true deal to you who he is or is king just got him playing a role he's just spilling the script script uh, word by word or what she put out there for him to do okay i'm just saying i don't know honey anybody do anything for some entertainment dollars you get what i'm saying all right you get what i'm saying but all right uh that's all i have for this video thank you for coming to my channel thank you for loving on me with them uh subscriptions of people subscribing to my channel making us grow so we can blow on up okay but um what you can continue to do for me if it pleases you because it will please me. Continue sharing my videos, liking my videos, and definitely subscribing to my channel. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I will see you next video. Good night.